Have you ever wondered how your mind works? How do you remember things? Why do you make certain decisions? Cognitive psychology explores these fascinating questions. It studies the inner workings of our minds, focusing on how we think, learn, remember and solve problems. Just like a detective investigates a crime, cognitive psychologists use experiments and observations to understand the complex processes happening inside our heads. Cognitive psychology is like a journey into the very essence of what makes us human, our ability to think and understand the world around us. It delves into the mysteries of perception, how we make sense of the information our senses receive. It examines memory, the remarkable ability to store and retrieve experiences. It also explores language, the tool that allows us to communicate our thoughts and ideas. This field of study is not just about understanding the normal functions of the mind, it also seeks to understand what happens when these functions go awry. Cognitive psychologists study disorders like amnesia where memory fails and aphasia where language breaks down. By understanding these breakdowns we can gain even deeper insights into the complexities of the human mind. The journey of cognitive psychology is full of intriguing discoveries and ongoing debates. It is a field that constantly challenges our assumptions and pushes the boundaries of what we know about ourselves. So let's embark on this exploration of the mind, uncovering the intricate workings of our cognitive abilities and the profound impact they have on our lives. The quest to understand the mind is not new. Long before the advent of brain scans and psychological experiments, philosophers pondered the nature of thought and consciousness. Ancient Greek thinkers like Plato and Aristotle debated the origins of knowledge and the relationship between mind and body. These early inquiries laid the groundwork for the scientific study of the mind centuries later. For centuries, the study of the mind remained largely within the realm of philosophy. Philosophers relied on logic, reasoning and introspection, the process of looking inward at one's own thoughts and feelings. While these methods offered valuable insights, they lacked the rigor and objectivity of scientific inquiry. A major shift began in the 19th century with the emergence of psychology as a distinct scientific discipline. This transition from philosophy to science was marked by a new emphasis on empirical evidence. Instead of relying solely on introspection, psychologists began to conduct systematic observations and experiments to test their theories. This shift toward a more scientific approach paved the way for the development of cognitive psychology as we know it today. The move towards empirical research brought about a revolution in how we understand the mind. It marked a departure from purely theoretical debates to a more data-driven approach. This scientific foundation would become crucial for the future development of cognitive psychology and its various subfields. The year 1879 is often considered a landmark year in the history of psychology. In Leipzig, Germany, Wilhelm Wundt, a physiologist and philosopher, established the first experimental psychology laboratory. This event is widely regarded as the birth of psychology as an independent scientific discipline. Wundt's laboratory attracted students from around the world, eager to learn about this new scientific approach to studying the mind. Wundt and his students used a variety of methods to study mental processes, including reaction time tasks and introspection. One of their primary interests was understanding consciousness, the subjective experience of awareness. While Wundt's approach, known as structuralism, eventually gave way to other schools of thought, his pioneering work laid the foundation for experimental psychology. The establishment of Wundt's laboratory marked a turning point. It signaled a move away from philosophical speculation towards a more systematic and controlled investigation of the mind. This emphasis on experimentation would become a cornerstone of cognitive psychology. The impact of Wundt's laboratory extended far beyond his immediate students. It inspired other researchers to establish their own laboratories, leading to the rapid growth of experimental psychology in Europe and North America. This marked the beginning of psychology's journey as a true science, paving the way for the later emergence of cognitive psychology. In the United States, William James, a philosopher and psychologist, emerged as one of the most influential thinkers of his time. James was critical of Wundt's structuralist approach, arguing that consciousness could not be broken down into its constituent parts. 
Instead, James emphasized the continuous flowing nature of conscious experience, an idea he termed the stream of consciousness. James's work laid the groundwork for functionalism, a school of thought that focused on the purpose and adaptive value of mental processes. Functionalists were interested in understanding how the mind helps us adapt to our environment and solve problems. James's emphasis on the practical functions of the mind resonated with many psychologists and had a lasting impact on the field. His book, The Principles of Psychology, published in 1890, became a classic in the field, exploring topics such as habit, attention, and the self. James's insightful observations and engaging writing style made his work accessible to a wide audience, further popularizing the study of psychology. While James did not directly establish a distinct school of cognitive psychology, his ideas about memory, attention, and consciousness laid important groundwork for later developments. His emphasis on the adaptive nature of mental processes foreshadowed the focus on problem solving and information processing that would become central to cognitive psychology. Shaping the cognitive landscape, Nicer, Chomsky and Piaget. The mid 20th century witnessed the emergence of key figures who would shape the field of cognitive psychology. Ulrich Neisser, often considered the father of cognitive psychology, played a pivotal role in defining the field and its scope. His book, Cognitive Psychology, published in 1967, helped solidify the cognitive revolution in psychology. Neisser emphasized the importance of studying internal mental processes such as attention, memory and perception using rigorous experimental methods. Another influential figure, Noam Chomsky, a linguist, revolutionized our understanding of language. Chomsky argued that humans have an innate capacity for language, challenging the prevailing behaviorist view that language was solely a product of learning. His work on language acquisition had a profound impact on cognitive psychology, highlighting the role of innate cognitive structures in shaping our abilities. Jean Piaget, a Swiss psychologist, made groundbreaking contributions to our understanding of cognitive development in children. Piaget's research showed that children's thinking is qualitatively different from adults, and he proposed a stage theory of cognitive development. His work highlighted the active role children play in constructing their own understanding of the world. Piaget's ideas about cognitive development continue to influence educational practices and research on child development today. These key figures, along with others, helped to establish cognitive psychology as a dominant force within the field. Their work demonstrated the power of the cognitive approach in explaining a wide range of mental phenomena from language acquisition to problem solving. Revolution in the Head, the Rise of Cognitive Psychology the 1950s and 1960s witnessed a paradigm shift in psychology known as the Cognitive Revolution. This revolution marked a departure from behaviorism, the dominant school of thought at the time, which focused solely on observable behaviors and dismissed the study of mental processes as unscientific. Cognitive psychologists challenged this behaviorist dogma, arguing that we cannot fully understand human behavior without considering the internal mental processes that mediate between stimulus and response. Several factors contributed to the rise of cognitive psychology. Advances in computer science, particularly the development of artificial intelligence, provided psychologists with a new metaphor for understanding the mind. The computer, with its ability to process information, store data and generate output, offered a powerful analogy for understanding how the human mind might work. Additionally, dissatisfaction with behaviorism's limitations in explaining complex human behaviors such as language and problem solving fueled the cognitive revolution psychologists began to realize that behaviorism's focus on external behaviors was insufficient to account for the richness and complexity of human thought the cognitive revolution led to a surge in research on mental processes such as attention memory language and problem solving Cognitive psychologists developed innovative experimental methods to study these processes, often using reaction time and accuracy measures to infer underlying cognitive operations. Exploring the mind's domains, memory, perception, attention and language. 
Cognitive psychology encompasses a wide range of research areas, each focusing on a different aspect of how our minds work. Memory research explores how we encode, store and retrieve information. Cognitive psychologists have identified different types of memory, including short-term memory, which holds information briefly, and long-term memory, which can store vast amounts of information for extended periods. Perception research investigates how we make sense of the sensory information we receive from the world around us. This field explores how we recognize objects, perceive depth and motion, and attend to relevant information in a noisy environment. Cognitive psychologists have shown that perception is not simply a passive process of receiving sensory input. Rather, it is an active process of constructing meaning from the information our senses provide. Attention research examines our ability to focus on specific stimuli while filtering out distractions. Cognitive psychologists have shown that attention is a limited resource and we can only attend to a small amount of information at any given time. Understanding the limits of attention has important implications for tasks that require sustained focus, such as driving or air traffic control. Language research explores how we acquire, comprehend and produce language. Cognitive psychologists study the structure of language, the rules that govern grammar and syntax, and the cognitive processes involved in understanding and producing speech. Language is a complex cognitive ability that sets humans apart from other species and its study provides valuable insights into the workings of the human mind. Inside Out Examining Criticisms of Cognitive Therapy While cognitive psychology has made significant contributions to our understanding of the mind, it has also faced criticisms. One criticism is that it can be overly reductionist, breaking down complex mental phenomena into simpler components. Critics argue that this approach fails to capture the holistic nature of human experience. For example, reducing consciousness to a series of information processing steps may overlook the subjective, qualitative aspects of our inner lives. Another criticism is that cognitive psychology can be too focused on internal mental processes, neglecting the influence of social and cultural factors on cognition. Critics argue that our thoughts, beliefs and values are shaped by our social interactions and cultural backgrounds, and neglecting these influences can lead to an incomplete understanding of human cognition. Cognitive therapy, a form of psychotherapy based on the principles of cognitive psychology, has also been subject to criticism. While cognitive therapy has proven effective for treating a wide range of mental health conditions, some critics argue that it can be overly focused on changing thoughts and beliefs, neglecting the importance of emotions and behaviours. Critics of self-focused cognitive therapy in particular argue that it can lead to excessive introspection and self-criticism, potentially exacerbating anxiety and depression in some individuals. They advocate for a more balanced approach that addresses thoughts, emotions and behaviours in a holistic manner. Despite these criticisms, cognitive psychology remains a vibrant and influential field, constantly evolving and refining its methods and theories. The criticisms themselves often serve as catalysts for further research and development, pushing the field to address its limitations and develop more comprehensive models of human cognition. The enduring power of cognitive psychology, a look towards the future. Cognitive psychology has profoundly impacted our understanding of the human mind. Its emphasis on empirical research, rigorous experimental methods and focus on internal mental processes has revolutionized how we study thinking, learning, remembering and problem solving. The insights gained from cognitive psychology have applications in numerous fields including education, artificial intelligence, human factors, engineering and clinical psychology. As we look to the future, cognitive psychology faces exciting challenges and opportunities. Advances in neuroscience and brain imaging techniques are providing unprecedented insights into the neural basis of cognition. The increasing availability of big data and computational tools allows researchers to analyze massive data sets, revealing complex patterns in human thought and behavior. Cognitive psychology is also expanding its scope to address new questions and challenges. Researchers are exploring the cognitive implications of emerging technologies such as virtual reality and artificial intelligence and investigating the role of cognition in complex social phenomena such as prejudice, decision-making and moral reasoning. The journey of cognitive psychology is far from over. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the human mind, 
cognitive psychology will undoubtedly remain at the forefront of scientific discovery, providing valuable insights that enhance our understanding of ourselves and the world. If you found this video insightful and want to keep exploring the fascinating world of psychology, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to ensure you never miss out on our latest deep dives into the mind. Tap the bell icon to get notified instantly. Let's continue unraveling the mysteries of the brain and mental well-being. And hey, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.